Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make an MVP for your ChatGPT based app idea using only no code tools. Um, we're going to use Zapier, which is a tool that basically lets you create simple logic to connect other tools together. Um, and then the main components I'm going to use are going to be a tally form, um, the ChatGPT API, and uh, Gmail. So uh, let's get started and create a new Zap. Um, first thing we need to do is to add the tally form. Okay, so first we need to actually create the form. Uh, so this is as simple as creating a type form or a Google form. Uh, Tally is just a free version with, of that with a lot of features. So I'm going to need the user's email address to send them an email. I also want to get some information about um, what kind of cuisine I should make uh, the recipe and how spicy uh, the recipe should be, um, just for example. So here we can use the test feature um, just to get a bit of example data uh, from that form. And then we move on to the next step. Uh, so I'm going to add a, the delay here. Um, and what that will do is it will limit the amount of times that this app can be run to once per minute, uh, which isn't necessary, um, but it could prevent unexpected costs if we would get spammed. Uh, finally, I'm going to connect the um, the ChatGPT integration with my OpenAI API key. Uh, anyone can create an OpenAI API key. Um, you just have to enter your credit card details onto Open OpenAI. Um, a typical request is going to cost uh, a tenth of a cent per request, so it's not particularly expensive unless you make a ton of them. Then I'm going to uh, engineer the prompt. So here I'm asking, uh, I'm just making this up as we go, um, but I'm asking ChatGPT for a prompt related to the user's input um, and a few of the other fields that they entered. and all of these other settings look fine. Great, so we can test this action once again, and it's gonna actually run this step, and there you go, there's some of the output from ChatGPT for the example data from the last step. And this is not necessary, this is optional, but I would like to be able to store all of the results from all of my users, from all of my beta users in a Google Sheet. So uh, that's as simple as adding the Google Sheet um, component, uh, creating a new Google Sheet, and then connecting that on the Zapier side. It asks for some headers, so I'm going to put those headers here, uh, which I can reference back to from Zapier. Uh, we click Refresh Fields, and then all of the headers will show up in Zapier. I'm just going to connect each of the columns in the Google Sheet uh, with the fields uh, from the previous step. Uh, so all of these fields come from the tally form, except I also want to add the chat GPT response. Uh, that way, when I'm looking back at, um, at the spreadsheet, I can see all of the um, tests that all of the users have made. Okay, so that's done. And as we can see here in the Google Sheet, um, that added, just running that test step, added a new row to the sheet. So that was exactly what I was looking for. And now for the final step, um, I want to send the user an email. 
uh, with the recipe that was generated. So we just create a, a send email event with the Gmail component uh, connected to my Gmail. And now I just need to uh, connect the fields of the email that's going to be sent uh, with the outputs from the previous steps. Okay, uh, so that was the final step, and now we can publish this. Publishing the zap is just going to make it active, and that means that when I submit the actual tally form, that all of the steps we just designed are going to happen. So uh, let's put in some, uh, some test data here. Now, um, I used a temporary email service for this, and just refreshing. Uh, it looks like after submitting the form, um, the whole Zapier process was run, and these are the results.